Welcome to Light Gray Mage Let's Play Civilization Beyond Earth, Arshia Kish, hey friends. Al Falah. We are continuing with our game of Al Falah in Beyond Earth, Rising Tide. Starting with turn 321, Vostok difficulty, which is like one difficulty above normal. <coughs> I tried to, <coughs> I initially started trying to play the civilization of Alphala. Uh, it's not a civilization that get, gets bonuses from passive. It doesn't have it doesn't have any passive bonuses or benefits. All of the benefits are active benefits that you have to get through city conversion, which is kind of cool once you get used to it, but it's way different from how other civilizations tend to work. Which is to say that most of the civilizations get passive benefits. So we're getting to a point where we have enough diplomatic capital that we don't really need to do uh, a whole lot of agreements with other civilizations anymore. I think we're just going to keep um, I think we're just going to keep the agreements going for the purpose of diplomacy. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine manufactories. We're gonna finish this emancipation gate really quick, and then we'll be on our way to victory. science and was undetected. Nice. This is a special agent level agent. So we're just going to go for steel technology. It's a three level special agent. Pretty much everybody else here is at war except me. So when I make some movements here, I'm going to go ahead and start calling out the hotkeys. Um, it'll help me to remember, and it'll also hopefully help your game too. Obviously, H is heal. Enter goes to next turn. Enter or return. R is for road. So we're building some infrastructure to this emancipation gate here. forgot to buy uh, another orbital fabricator. I want to put an orbital fabricator over here. And I'll explain to you why in a minute. I want 
want to put an orb orbital fabricator in this city because it's going to be doing most of its life in this area. So we're going to end up getting a lot of production out of it with an orbital fabricator like right in this area here. I think ideally we would just run straight across this way. I don't know. It'll probably not get that far. So this is some offensive road building, otherwise known as sapping. You can see we're uh, funneling our roads up toward France here. It looks like France's capital may need to be liberated here in a minute. It's probably a good idea that we are moving our troops in that direction. I'm not really going to let it bother me though, because it doesn't really impact my wind condition here. You have no more exploration charges. Whack. R is for road. F is for fortify. I really kind of want another orbital fabricator in this area. because we really want our capital city to be spoiled. And I also want one for Halar, because it, it is going to be doing a lot of work. And that runs us out of petroleum, which is fine. We, we weren't really using petroleum for anything other than satellites anyway. This is a pretty good spot, but it's blocked. Most of our good placements are going to be blocked here. This gives us three tiles within range of the capital. Are any of these tiles being worked? Doesn't look like it. But with the way that we're growing, they probably will be. So let's go ahead and put this over here anyway. Plus, I think this floatstone's being worked, isn't it? Yeah. It'll at least give us a little bit of production right off the bat. Really what we're angling for is the strategic resources that we'll get out of that. think about here. That's going to give us free production and it'll also cover four tiles that will be... Ooh, this is good too. I 
think this is going to be the best placement, though, because we already have three tiles that we're working here, and we get four possible, and we're just going to go straight this way, basically. Might as well. This is going to give us three possible tiles that can be spawned. So Orbital Fabricator will spawn strategic resources, which is part of the reason that we like it for this, but it's also going to give us four production here, which is really going to cut down th the time on this Abyssal Mirror, which we're going to be using kind of a lot. So the period button brings us to the next unit. Nice. We got 40 energy from this resource pot over here. I don't know how we're supposed to get to the satellite, but... Not quite there yet. Can't quite build the left tanks yet. Let's go ahead and pick up water refinery. That's going to be pretty dang huge for our sea-based cities. It'll also be pretty huge for the capital. our capital does have a few tiles and we're gonna end up working multiple sea base tiles in the capital here in a minute. Now you see I've already generated one for Axite here which is pretty awesome. It's gonna go ahead and increase our strategic resource count and it's also gonna give us some additional science. Which in this game, we are not going to sniff our nose and look down at any amount of science. So you can see what we're doing here is basically offensive road building. Where did I discover a resource pod? Oh my gosh. go ahead and just buy a water refinery in Ard. Uh, we don't really need more health at this point. We're pretty much capped out on health. So let's go ahead and production. I kind of want to get a couple more levels in industry, but I also kind of want this. Oh, 
this is tough. Not really going to need to build any more wonders. I really want to get meme web. So let's go over this way. Eyes improve. So we're improving that tile to its default. Improved state. R is for road. R is for road. And we're going to have this this unit come over here and start building some offensive roads over here to France. R is for road. Established a network undetected. Nice. And let us go with recruit defectors. The more defectors that we can recruit, the less units that we need to buy to send in through the uh, through the portal. this up. So I think it's safe to say that we have exhausted the extent of the game's um, the game's churning out of artifacts. We gotta get some ships over here though. We haven't explored anywhere in here. War? You're really declaring war on me? Is that what this is? What? So CEO Suzanne Fielding and Koslav have declared war on me? Or are they just denouncing me? I'm not super worried, because I have a pretty good amount of... I mean, I don't really have a lot of ships, but... Just the geography of it? Like, CEO Suzanne Fielding's over here. Should send a submarine over here. should be on the lookout over in this direction for Kozlov. So the strategy over here was the strategy in the robot city is to improve these three tiles and then set up a couple of orbital fabricators in these areas. We're gonna need to go ahead and improve this petroleum so that we can get the extra petroleum from here. So you might as well just cancel this guy's job right now. So now that we have completed the Emancipation Gate, we're going to go ahead and start building Angels. Angels are pretty much going to be the highest power 
unit that we're able to produce, and we have plenty of Firaxite for it. So this is basically just stacking it up to win. We gotta try and get a little bit more production out of this city now somehow. And we're gonna need to complete the Abyssal Mirror to do that. We might also tune some of these farms. There's also a technology that we can pick up to get more production out of these. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. Oh, really? Where did that come from? From the progenitor ruin? Interesting. We're looking for artifacts for this guy to dig up. I think we're just going to send him over to the sunken spacecraft. Oh yeah, don't forget to commit military units every turn. We're, we're basically doing this so that we can send these units through space back to, I think to Earth, to liberate Earth for, for some reason. So right here what we're doing is kind of cheating. That's going to give us a whole bunch of production. And that's really all we're focusing on in the capital right now. It's just cranking out these angels. I kind of want to start producing them in Aswa, Adida, and Fara too. So I'm going to free up some for Axite. Thank you. We want to build this road straight. We're going to build it this way. Well, actually straight is going to be this way. There's a road here. And this is going to be where we're going to come up into the hills. So this guy is going to come down and start spying on CEO Suzanne Fielding, since Suzanne Fielding has denounced us. And now we're finished with this road here. We've completed this road, so now all of our cities here are connected. Let's check and make sure we don't have any trade convoys laying around.
What is this large evil space worm doing alone on this island here? Science drop. I didn't even see it. Was it 40 something? I gotta get that skeleton. Looks like we might want to liberate Ainsa, or France is gonna die. And we kind of really don't want France to die. So let's come down and start looking at that. has Poseidons. Undetected, undetected. So we're really going to be trying to recruit as many defectors as we can at this point. That's really going to help our win condition because angels are expensive to build. They're going to give us a lot of points each, but they're not going to keep us going on the... Uh, They're not going to keep us going on the win progress. This could be useful. You want to pick up this one? We don't really need any additional supremacy. We, what we could use is some additional harmony. So we'll start picking up some harmony here.
base is Alt R. I had a feeling we're going to be using that more, so it's Alt R. R is for road. And we're just going to build a nice, happy little road around here. You are in trouble, so I'm going to give you some extra help here. So I'm going to plan to liberate these French cities, and I'm going to plan to win the game before I liberate them. I just want to make sure that CEO Suzanne Fielding doesn't, uh, I want to make sure that CEO Suzanne Fielding doesn't try to attack me in the meantime. So we're going to be gathering our troops here. And also making sure that this capital city doesn't get taken over. Because we're still getting a bonus out of our agreement with France. I told you that we get science from killing aliens, right? It's hard to see how much it is, but it's still helping us on our science production. I mean, a little bit. It's also giving our units more, uh, it's also giving our units more experience. for improve, R is for road. Looks like there's some squabbles going on over here. We're gonna sneak our navy in just back, like, right around in this area. Sorry aliens, had to do it to ya.
this point in the game, we don't really need to be doing a whole lot of stuff with our workers. Uh, you don't need help. It wouldn't hurt to pick this up. But we gotta get our city down to here. We need to finish that abyssal mirror first. Kozlov has researched a technology. Fancy. So the next thing we want to do is start getting this on a magrail system. Oh, there's another nest. So this is a strategy that I will call pacing. We're kind of preparing for a war here, but we're also kind of just monitoring what's going on. It's kind of hard for me to see. I'll check it out next turn what's going on in this area. I gotta think that some troops are attacking. I'm al I should also move this scout up and around over here and see if we get any visibility on troops coming through on land. But if there was a land-based war, I think we would see more of it here. So every time we knock out one of these angels, we gotta add another one to the queue. So we don't really need all this food, and we're actually not getting the best use out of some of our tiles here. Build a worker, or purchase one rather. Oh, I should have bought that with uh, diplomatic capital. We're not really going to get anything else out of our diplomatic capital this game. Can I still ignore this? The drone cage. Uh, from arrays. We've built a few arrays, but I don't really have a whole lot of them out. Um, there's got to be some wonders that I haven't built yet, but we want to get down to mag rails, so we'll go this way.
a friend? Can I help you? <coughs> Are you here to sample the local cuisine? soon here we will unveil the power of the abyssal mirror remember alt r is rebase wanted to move down so that we can pick up this. We can only buy three tiles away and this is four tiles away, but we can get to it from here. We're finally going to lose <coughs> the production from this petroleum well, but we're pretty well covered. We got a lot of stuff in this area. I'm not seeing a whole lot from the American Reclamation Corporation. I was really kind of expecting to see more troops coming from this area. It looks like France is pretty handily beating back the American Reclamation Corporation over its lands over there. Now let's get these tiles doing some production. I might just build factories here too. Heck it. We'll go nuts. Interesting. Did you see that? All these troops showing up over here? It looks like uh, Chungsu might be declaring war somewhere. Or maybe they already have declared war. in multiple airstrikes on this large evil space worm. Third airstrikes the charm. Rest in peace, large evil space worm. It's hard to even see how much science that is. We're definitely going to want production from lev plants. Every place that is getting lev plants should be just producing, producing, producing. It's 
guy's still working on this petroleum well. It'll take forever, gosh. Um, let's send this worker over here so that it can wait in this area. You can heal. You can build a mine. You can build a road. You are almost finished with your road. And we're going to continue to build angels. Stacks upon stacks of angels. Nice. I killed that large evil space worm earlier, and I got a drone out of it, which... It's not that strong of a unit, but it's got good movement and uh, some visibility. We can use it for scouting around. We might just send it through here and see what happens. It's not a bad idea, actually. tempted to build a road all the way around France so that I can march some ranged units up here to bombard Ainsa from the back. I'm not totally sure where these guys are going, but I think I should move around a little bit and kind of anticipate for them to attack me. I'm not sure what they're up to, but I'm not sure I totally approve. You can use my roads, though, if you're going to go try attack somebody. This little worker is going to come down here and make some uh, make some better connections for this emancipation gate. Hajar has eight or six health and eight population. Let's build something that will give us some health. That's going to cost for Axite. We don't want that. That's going to cost one turn. Let's go ahead and have you build some. Well, let's just have you move, actually, so we can pick up this peroxide over here.
Oops. <laughs> Sorry. I guess you noticed my secret agent agenting in your area. Expedition complete. You successfully helped to build a robot of doom. You can pretty much just sit there. Well, actually, let's have you uh, fix the roads over here. This should be just surrounded by roads. are eating. So what's going on, France? You gonna dig yourself out of this one or what? We're definitely going to want to pick up the water refinery here. In fact, we'll just purchase it. Water refinery, yes. I didn't see how much our production here went up, but we're really trying to crank these angels out just as fast as we possibly can.
they're attacking France from this side now. I think France might die now. orbital fabricator in here. So as you can see we have four tiles here that are not giving us any bonus. And so in the meantime, this guy can just come over here and wait. think for this one. I think you're right. So we've almost kind of blown out the the mechanics of this game right here. Hajar is supposed to be the city that we're using to do our fa um, I guess we can do solar collectors. They don't cost petroleum. Uh, what I was going to say is Hajar has the abyssal mirror, so we need to be using it for satellites. This, however, is the robot city. So we're also going to want to be producing angels from here. I don't want to be petty and put a bunch of miasma in here if I can. Oh. That was a good spot to put that before. But now we're going to be putting orbital fabricators in this area. So here you can see, this is going to be the tiles we're going to do normal improvements on. And we're going to put orbital fabricators basically all around the city. France. You need all the help you can get over here. do terrascapes in the robot city or not? I think probably not, right? Robot city should be random. we're pretty 
much just going to keep putting out solar collectors over here. Because it's the only kind of uh, thing that we can really afford to build. Sad. Could just liberate this. Rail is going to be E. We're going to be doing mag rail upgrades now. Mag rail, mag rail, mag rail, mag rail everywhere. can't stack production of can't stack production of satellites because once you have one satellite in a city that is officially too many satellites in that city I kind of want to try and knock out some of the wonders I haven't finished yet because I'm still waiting on a um, I still got to complete what I was going to say. Anyway, this is going to be the end of part one. We're well on our way to our victory here, but uh, we might we might continue this game and pick up some extra wonders. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. So this is uh, part one of part seven. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed watching, please feel free to subscribe. And we'll see you next time.